The Glazers rarely speak in public, and despite having owned Manchester United for over a decade, I'd never actually heard Avram Glazer speak until this week when he was speaking out in Saudi Arabia at the MISC Global Conference. Now, Saudi Arabia, you know we've covered those reports in detail linking the Al Saud family with a potential takeover of Manchester United. But with the Glazers right now, I really don't know what they think about Manchester United, other than the fact that it's a massive cash cow for them. You know, shares right now, higher than they've ever been. It's a massive money maker and a money spinner for the Glazers. But what do they think about Manchester United? Now, speaking at the MISC Global Forum, which is a forum designed to promote youth, Avram Glazer was asked what he thought about what it took to make a great team. And this is what he had to say. What makes Manchester United such a an incredible team. How did they build? What's the history of building a great team? Well, in Manchester United, everything starts with the youth. Um, developing youth is a core belief in Manchester United. It's part of the ethos of, of uh, what Manchester United is, and it all starts with our youth academy. So what Manchester United does is it tries to develop young players, and we have an under-18 team, we have an under-16-year-old team, we have an under-14-year-old team, we have an under-12-year-old under team, we have an under, -year -year team, and we have an under 10 year old team. So the, the people start very, very young. And, and their goal is to work their way up to be on, on the Manchester United first team. So once again, developing youth, making these, these players and these people um, successful is, is a very, very comprehensive process and we try to instill on, in, in these young people um, a lot of good traits. We try to uh, build their character, their self-belief, their persistence, their resilience, things like that. And it's a long process and it's a lot of hard work. And the players themselves have to really be dedicated uh, to try to be successful. So that's, that's really the, the core of Manchester United. Now there's a couple of points I want to raise about what Avram Glazer had to say. First and foremost, obviously he's going to be speaking about the youth if he's talking at a Miss Global Forum designed to promote youth. I understand that. And the youth has always been a massive part of Manchester United, even dating back to pre-Busby Babes, coming through the Busby Babes, coming through Sir Matt Busby, coming through the class of 92, and what we saw there with the Neville brothers, with Skulls, with Beckham, with Giggs. The youth has always been an intrinsic part of the fabric of Manchester United, and that will never go away. Right now, we're coming up towards 4,000 consecutive first team squads since October 1937 that have featured a Manchester United Academy graduate. That record really is nothing short of phenomenal. However, it's all well and good hearing Avram Glazer saying that youth is part of the core of Manchester United and that's what has made it such a success over the years. But to me, it kind of feels like empty words at the moment because the state of play in Manchester and at Manchester United as well has changed dramatically. You know, once upon a time, maybe even like five, six years ago, Manchester United's academy was unrivaled, really. It was so successful and the, the amount of graduates that came through, the way it produced players, the way it trained players was unrivaled in the Premier League. But Manchester United's academy isn't the shining bastion that it once was under Sir Alex Ferguson. I mean, to put it bluntly, it's been in disarray for some time. I mean, look at what happened in 2015. When Brian McClare, he left Manchester United as the head of academy, went to join the Scottish FA. It took Manchester United seven months to appoint Nicky Butt as a new head of academy. A player who was fantastic at the club, a player who was the under-23s manager, and I think he was a club secretary at some point as well. He had been promoted to do one of the most important jobs in the club. And it took United seven months to find him from within. How did it take that long? And you know, Paul McGuinness left soon after as the under 18s coach. Massively successful he was with our under 18s for years and years and years. Warren Joyce, he left as our under 23s coach to go and try his luck at Wigan, I think it was. Again, hugely successful for years and years and years. And then Mickey Butt replaced him originally, Ricky I think is how you say his name. He came in as our under-23s coach as well. So we lost some of our most important personnel at the club and we struggled to replace them. And for years, United's academy was on a major downturn. But 
It's been a bit of an upturn in the recent years anyway. Look at Kieran McKenna was brought in from Spurs as our under-18s coach and he did a superb job. Finished second with the under-18s in his first year, won the under-18 title in his second year and he's now an assistant to Jose Mourinho. He's doing a fantastic job and it's clear to see that was a great appointment. He's helping bring through Angel Gomez who's since made his first team debut, to Heath Chong, Eden Barlow, a lot of good players in the academy coming through now. But United are playing catch-up because of their own undoings. The underinvestment in the academy for years and years and years is now coming back to bite United in the arse. And it, we've caused our own problems because if we had sustained our own previous success, we wouldn't now be playing catch-up with ourselves. And if it really was such a core value to the club, like the Glazers say it is, there would never have been underinvestment. There would never have been any problems that came to surface because the problems would have been stopped before they were a problem. And it's a bit like Manchester United right now. We're a massively reactive club rather than proactive. We should have proactively avoided these issues with the academy by investing earlier rather than doing what we're doing now and trying to play catch up to Manchester City because Man United's decline in the academy sense has been matched by Man City's entry into the academy. You know, they opened their 200 million pound academy, I think it was in 2015 or 14, and it changed the scope of academy football in Manchester. At one point, no kid in Manchester was looking anywhere but over towards Manchester United. That's where he wanted to go. That's where he wanted to train as a footballer. That's not the case anymore. Manchester City are the preferred destination for so many youngsters. They've got the new facilities. They've got Guardiola shining in the Premier League. They've got the first team. They've got everything now. And Man United are just playing catch up on the pitch with the first team and off the pitch in so many different regards. And this is a major, major issue because it doesn't just lie with trying to overtake Man City and somehow trying to usurp this wonderful team they've got in the Premier League. It's about restructuring the academy. It's about restructuring the club and everything in between. I've actually got a video coming out. I'm going to speak with ESPN journalist Rob Dawson on that topic next week. So make sure you check that out. But the major gripe I have, and I, for me, this is the major problem I have with what Avram Glazer said about Manchester United and the, how important the youth is to the core of the club. If the youth really was that important to Manchester United and the Glazers, then why was Jose Mourinho made manager of Manchester United? I'm desperate, you all know I'm desperate to see Mourinho succeed at the club, but he's effectively the antichrist of youth football promotion. If you're looking at his career history, nobody can really deny that. And this isn't an attack on Jose Mourinho, this is an attack on those in power at Manchester United that are making the decisions. Because for some time, it's been impossible to see a single vision at Manchester United. Decisions left, right and centre make absolutely no sense whatsoever. It seems we get pulled in one direction, fuck up a little bit, and then pull in a completely different direction. And appointing Jose Mourinho goes completely against what Avram Glazer is trying to say about the youth being at the core of Manchester United. If it really was, Mourinho would never have been appointed in the first place at all. We would never have signed Alexis Sanchez in January and stopped Anthony Martial from continuing on the form he was. There's just so many things that have happened at the club since Fergie retired, which go against what Avram Glazer is trying to say in that youth is everything at Manchester United. And until that problem of having a lack of a single vision is resolved at the club, and that goes through from the tea lady to the kit man to the first team to the under 18s to the 12, under 12s team, until that single vision is properly shared by everybody, United's problems won't ever be fixed by changing a manager, by changing a player, or changing anything else in to do with the football itself. The club has been poorly run for some time and the academy issues that have gone on are only one part of it. But I just wanted to get this off my chest because hearing Avram Glazer say that about how important the youth is to Manchester United and how it's one of the core foundations of the club is what I want to hear. But it's not what I've seen in the last few years and I think he's just spouting bullshit and I wanted to call him up on it. But let me know what you think about what the Glazers really think about Manchester United, about the state of our academy. It's the international break. It's a time to reflect and look at the current issues at the club that don't just lie on the football pitch. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Drop a like on the video. It always helps. Until next time, take it easy.